Kroger puts the gross in grocery stores. I say this as someone who used to work a summer job there before I started college. And uh, yeah, it, it was not the funnest of times. But the reason why I'm talking about it is because a few days ago, I stumbled across a video that made me really think, yeah, I think it's universal that Kroger is just a pretty horrible company. Craziest thing in the history of our 12 year old business happened to us today. So that's me and my wife. We started selling peaches 12 years ago and we kind of blew up because they're legit the tastiest, juiciest, sweetest peaches you've ever had. This morning I got a Google alert for the peach truck and noticed quickly it was for Kroger's new peach truck. Yes, that Kroger is launching a truck where they sell peaches in front of the stores. Well, that's nothing we can protect. There's nothing we can do about that. Definitely seems normal. Kroger has a history of buying up small companies and opening up different like businesses to try and incorporate into their grocery stores. Like uh, when I worked there, I remember they had opened up an authentic sushi little area kiosk i guess you could call it uh where they actually hired authentic japanese chefs uh they don't do that anymore uh, i wouldn't go for that sushi anymore because it's definitely kind of strange like they use cheetos which you would think would be bad it's not bad i've tasted it but it does leave you with a weird aftertaste but regardless uh when i was hired uh there was a new field they had which was online shopping right so the customers would get their little groceries from online decide what they want and we the young people would navigate through the orders go and pick it up uh, get it all settled and you know being tech savvy that, that, that's why they just hired a bunch of teenagers and young people however i was shocked at the image they used this image looks super familiar to me for several reasons let me show you something else the reason it looks so familiar is because I recognize the person in the photo. That's our team member, Michael, from last summer who sold peaches for the peach truck. That is the same image. They just edited the photo to change the branding. Here's another one, that bottom right photo. Take a look at that one. That two A-frames, stacks of peaches, Kroger in the background. Here's our photo, a photo from one of our stops from probably 2020. Same exact setup, same boxes. Kroger, you're a multi-billion, yes, billion with a B dollar corporation. Do you really need to take our marketing and re-edit it on top of taking our business model? Yes, yes they do. And here's the thing, like these companies, the multi-billion dollar ones, grocery stores in particular, they like to pick on the little guy. Uh, so Kroger, Walmart, Targets and Trader Joe's as examples are pretty well known uh, for doing these kind of things. Trader Joe's is an example I would like to use because I remember that recently where they approached this person who makes achar, which is like an Indian kind of um, condiment using like pickled mangoes and whatnot, it, sometimes garlic. But anyways, they came to them and said, hey, we could partner up. We could sell your Achar product in our stores. And something led to another and uh, they, I think, refused or didn't get back to them, whatnot. <laughs> A few months later, they get like Instagram updates or social media updates saying, hey, uh, I didn't know you guys were selling your product at Trader Joe's. And they were like, no, we didn't. We didn't agree to this. Well, what are you talking about? Uh, turns out it wasn't their product being sold. Well, false alarm, right? Uh, uh, but apparently they took the recipe as well as the similar design and just plastered their name on it and started selling it in their stores. And I'm not kidding. Looking at the product, this is Trader Joe's version, as you could see, right? And this is the original from Brooklyn Deli the ones that they were trying to partner up with. Yeah, uh, uh, I, I guess they forgot the memo of don't copy the homework completely. Yeah, dang. It, honestly, it reminds me 
of、um, the OpenAI thing, where they try to contact Scarlett Johansson to try and give her voice for a certain elements of, I think, a press conference for the AI because she did like a movie where she plays an AI、uh, with Joaquin Phoenix. Great movie, her by the way. Yeah, she did not agree to it because it felt weird to her. They did it anyways without her permission. I mean that that's just grounds for a mean suing, you know. Just get Phoenix right in there. Miles Edgeworth can't even defend this case. God dang, just get in there and sue them for all they are. But oh wait, they're multi-billion-dollar corporations, so they could pick on these guys. But Scarlett Johansson, I, I think she's got、um, some weight to throw around. But these guys. They don't, and that's the sad and fortunate reality. It, it happens. If you're small, no one can hear you scream. Basically, that that that's the kind of rule set that these big corpos have made out. Ah,、uh, what a world, huh? But that's why social media is so important. I despise like Twitter, TikTok sometimes because of, of the strange like insanity that comes out of it. But I am appreciative that the small person can get their voice out there, and we could all team up and actually create awareness. And and that's the beauty of it all. That、um, the common people. Are a force to be reckoned with. Like when we actually put our minds together, these rich elite types, they don't know what to do. Also, it's not even the first time something like this has happened. Apparently, Trader Joe also did it to a product called Lime Leaf Sambal, and、uh, the 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 owner of this product, this is. This is something she had.、Uh, she was approached by a Trader Joe representative, and she gave them a little taste test. Big mistake, because、uh, she didn't hear from them ever again. A few months later, they came with their own product with the similar recipe, but a bit diluted.、Um, again, Thai style green chili sauce. It's um, it's it's just the same thing, but. Their own little twist on it, they say, sort of like how people、um, might see, like、uh, in the grocery market, Frosted Flakes than a bootleg version,、um, or like not even cereal, even chips, soda has a bootleg version, which I guess they could get away with it, because if you actually like, for example, right now I have it. My roommate actually bought me this. God damn it! Voila, it's. It's Honey Nut Cheerios, but without the B. It's it's just Honey Nut O's. N- yeah, I- I've been eating a lot of these Nut O's.、Um, tastes like plastic. Not gonna lie, microplastics. It's got a chop full of them.、Um, great value. Yeah, it- it's it's just a thing, you know. That is somewhat allowed because.、Uh, I, I could tell the difference. They they might look the same. They might have similar names, but I could tell the difference in design as well as taste.、Uh, these things with Trader Joe, not really. They, they're definitely、um, stepping on some toes here. It's it, it's insane. It, it definitely is insane how these guys operate. This. Stealing of the marketing, it, it, Kroger has that happen a lot. It, it's no secret that their upper management is、um, pretty incompetent.、Uh, I say this again from personal experience. The managers and all that like would come in. They don't even know what the business is half the time. They just come in. Sometimes they would take me or some other. Teenager or、uh, young adult to go work another job, maybe cashier, bagger. Sometimes even working heavy heavy machinery, which I was not legal to be operating at that time. Like me getting a forklift, well, not a forklift. It was one of those compressing machines. But I do remember one of my friends. They were working a work、uh, a forklift, and they were like 19. So I. Think that is、um, some safety violations right there. And speaking of this shirt right here, yeah, that's right. I got my souvenir. <laughs> I did my time. I did my time. When I was working there, the managers were just like in one of those revolving doors. They they just kept coming in, getting hired, and then getting fired. One of them got fired. I remember because they kept. 
uh, messing with one of the baristas at the Starbucks, uh, which is look was inside our Kroger's. Uh, <laughs> and one of my peers, my manager, or not my manager, manager, the she was a senior. She was the mom of this barista. And when she found out that she was being harassed by this manager, <laughs> she let him have it. It, it, it. There was a lot of drama. I, I could say that for sure. Every time I went into work, I just prayed no more drama. I just want to go in, do my thing, get my 725, which was eh, not bad for a teenager back then for me. But like, I can't imagine an adult uh, having to live off that salary because oof, it was it, it, it's not great at all. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. One key thing. There was one good manager. The manager that operated our side, you know, the, the, the tech side with all the online pickup. She was amazing. She was always there for us. She was always understanding. She was not like the other managers, probably because she was around our age, like 25, I believe. Um, she, she understood us. She understood us that, oh, we're also dealing with applying for colleges and stuff like that. So she never pushed us beyond that. But... The head manager eventually got in a fight with her. Uh, not not a physical altercation, like pick up your put up your dukes or something like that. But just they they had a disagreement. They did not like how she was managing, uh, you know, being humane. So they cut her out. Um, thankfully, we were lucky enough to get another great human manager. She was also around our age, helpful. Um, they fired her eventually too. And when we started seeing the manager they, they did pick, uh, it was one of their own and they, he was very strict. We started, you know, leaving one by one. But yeah, all in all, going back to that peach stuff, I saw that and I was like, yeah, apparently Kroger hasn't changed. It's this multi-billion corporation and you know how corporations are. They, the, the Cyberpunk 27 Cent was not lying when they said how robotic and uh, cutthroat these corporations can be. Granted, though, when this peach truck thing happened, Kroger did send out a message saying, Oh, oh we didn't know that was happening. Oh, um, we're going to do something about this. We're embarrassed. No, no, you're not. You're not embarrassed. Uh, you're just embarrassed you got caught. It, it's always a game of chicken with these guys, you know? They want to see how far they could push it before the customer base pushes back. And if that TikTok was not made and it didn't become viral, these guys will not be good turning this back. It, it's just how it is. Honestly, this is a scumbag move by Kroger with this whole peach fiasco, but... It's not as bad as that one Kroger commercial with the animation that, oof, that, that, that was hard to watch sometimes, man. All for prices that are lower. I don't even know where to begin with that. The fact that the, the people in the animation are like the play mobile characters or that one character from Amazing World of Gumball or the fact that they used low because at the time, I guess, uh, Apple Bottom Jeans was trending a lot. So they decided to make an entire commercial with it. Like, it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's the most cringiest. I, I still think the Grubhub commercial definitely holds that spot without a doubt. This one, not as bad, but it's still just, I don't know. There's something about it that just makes me want to... Uh, I don't know, jump out of a window, um, preferably like 80 feet off the ground. Um, I, I gotta see the Grubhub one just, just to compare, you know? This is science. Uh, l let's compare. Oh, f the kind of deals that make you boogie. Uh -huh. Get the food you love with perks. Nah, I take it back. Uh, Grubhub is still king. It's still king with that. Which is weird. Like, as someone who like painstakingly took an animation class in college, uh, yeah, I my heart goes out to the animators, but 
this hurts to watch. One good thing I could say about the Grubhub commercials is we got this one good remix, or good is probably a very lax term. I, I should probably say cursed, but it, it, it's pretty fire to me. Grubhub Perks give you deals on the food you love. The kind of deals that make you believe it. We are I, I can't tell you when I first heard this how much I hated it, <laughs> but it's in my workout playlist now, so. But yeah, back to Kroger's animation. Not bad compared to Grubhub's. It's definitely somewhat palpable. Um, I don't know what it is with like corporations and just making weird uh, animated commercials that... Um, bother me sometimes but Kroger's is is not too bad considering the fact that they had one like this year or maybe a few months ago that was actually pretty touching the one with the uh, the couple who couldn't have kids so they helped with um, a student exchange program where they opened their house to uh, just anyone from around the world and in the end it was it kind of made me teary eyed reminded me of up in a sense but yeah in a nutshell Kroger bad management yeah that's bad too Ma uh, marketing again pretty strange with the whole peach fiasco don't know where that's gonna go they might do something even worse in the future who knows but hey that's all there is